Today I want to introduce you to a character from Celtic literature, namely the wild madman. There are several madmen in Celtic literature. The famous ones are the Irish Suivne from Puli Suivne or the Frenzy of Sweeney, if you will, um, who was a pagan king who one day decided to insult a priest and got cursed for that with a strange madness which drove him into the wilderness where he assumed a more and more animal form throughout the years and he started leaping and he leaps across Ireland for across for uh, pretty much the entire story he's just leaping through Ireland <laughs> Eventually he gets cured by drinking milk from cow dung, which is amazing. These also occur in Welsh literature. And one that you probably even know, although you may not know about it, is Mervyn Wecht. He is the earliest version of what was later to become Merlin from the Arthur tales. And his madness actually gave him prophetic properties. Yeah, he is able to foretell the future through his madness. Now, madman or um, gelds in Irish, all Irish, they usually lose their sanity either on the battlefield or through a curse or just one way or another. Um, yeah, often it's on the battlefield because they cannot take the terrors of battle anymore and they flee into the wilderness where they uh, start to live, they avoid people and they slowly transform into a more animal-like figure. Often they grow feathers or fur and even tails and fangs and sometimes they get the ability to fly or they are very fast or they can jump very large distances. And often they start to utter poetry or get prophetic powers. So, yeah, often they are um, very good poets, which is odd actually. And now, uh, often the Geld befriends a saint who saves him from the madness. Other ways to be restored to sanity is uh, by eating blessed food or actually laying with a woman. There are also wild women actually in literature. These usually go mad after they lose a loved one or through some type of trauma. And then they go into the wilderness and become really, really, really ugly. And then the only way to be restored to sanity is when they actually lay with a man. And that is the problem. No one will do that because they are so ugly. So that is kind of the curse of the mad person in Celtic literature. So this is my um, rendition of a Celtic wild madman. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon.